what it what is it being at at your respective college how does it feel to be at dsc to be at isi to be at igidr what's the first feeling you had when you just stepped in so to be very frank when you know when it was my first day at dsc my i mean i was very happy but my first thing that i heard from my seniors was that people flunk and and that that just hit me on the very first day and till the last day that i exited my college that that remained with me that somehow i just have to you know go out of this college i don't have to repeat any semester i don't i don't want to repeat any exam for that matter and i still remember there was this faculty called jvm i'm not sure if she still is there jv minakshi but god everyone was so scared of her the only subject which had maximum number of uh, you know failures number of flunks was her paper econometrics third semester so i want to understand what was your first day like at your college so that we'll start from you good evening ma'am hi good evening Uh, so our uh, first day actually our uh, batch started very late uh, uh, so sorry so, so that can you please start by telling the audience which college you are from and then we can go ahead and do the uh, hello everyone so i am currently at dsc in my second year so uh, i remember at our first day it was like uh, uh, there were a lot of students actually so we were excited as usual Uh, but uh, on very first day the hod came and they also uh, make us make us scared that uh, uh, it's the easiest part to get into dsc to clear clear the entrance and the most difficult bit part will start from now uh, he didn't tell uh, anything exciting but he make made us scared that these many student fail how, uh, you are allowed only 4 years to complete the course this that and uh, yes uh, that's it i mean uh, when you enter the college uh, it's not like other uh, other college uh, not the very big the big campus but yeah it's enjoyable but yeah yeah it's very hectic here mm-hmm. too much pressure in first year now we are second year so little bit easier but we are just we have just started so i don't know how it goes right okay. now uh, i haven't matlab um, koi failure back to nahi aaye but believe ki aage bhi nahi aayenge right so that's it. i think i think if you have cleared the first year it is going to be smooth journey from here ha uh, i believe so, <laughs> yes what about you vivek how was it at dsc and uh, you know how was your first year at college hello everyone i am vivek and uh, i am in dsc right now in second year let me tell you that uh, in dsc like uh, i couldn't join the orientation day because back before dsc i was in igidr and for me like it was very difficult to choose like leave igidr and come over to dsc but again for me my journey was very different i had a gap year i graduated in a batch of 21 and then for, unfortunately i couldn't make in uh, the same year in dsc and then i took a gap a year gap and then next year i i was cleared the examination of igidr i went over there i stayed for 3 3 months and then as you all know like our for our batch like results came out on last uh, last week of uh, november i guess then for me it was very difficult to leave igidr and came come over to dsc and this i took a lot of time for to choose this so i missed my orientation day and but the when the day i stepped into dsc like i am entering to some my dream college like yeah i was really, really very happy and like uh, the first thing like i w- took a round of campus then you know like our economic wall that uh, we all over google there and we had a photograph and it was really good day that this was really it was really happy moment for me that particular day i i can understand yes how about you yamini how was your first day once you started your masters 
Uh, hi, I'm Yamini and I'm from IGIDR. So I belong to the batch of 2020. And we were infamously called the COVID batch of that year. So um, my, my journey was a bit different. I got through IGIDR first and then two months later, I got my DST results that I also got in. But then I made this tough choice by choosing IGIDR. Of course, I had my own reasons. But um, yes, so IGIDR has, of course, transformed me in a way, I think, which I, I owe a lot of what I am right now to that college in terms of everything, right, from the faculty to the environment to the campus we lived in. So yeah, it, it was a really, really nice experience. Right. And I think I will come back to this point, if you could guide people, um, you know, why IGIDR over DSC and how... Uh, tough that question is I, I would really like to know that in detail uh yeah. so i will come back to you in a while on that so vishali how about you how was your experience hello everyone my name is vishali and i recently graduated from jnu uh, and my first day i remember the first class i attended in jnu was problems of accumulation which i believe was one of the hardest paper we, we have we had to go through like i remember studying till five in the morning for the paper and everyone used to be so scared you know to even sit in the exam and yeah i believe jnu is like it has uh it has people from all the backgrounds like my batchmates some of them were from physics background one of my batchmates was, was from biotech and now they're doing phd in economics so um that shows that jnu just increases your interest in economics they teach you in a very holistic way which obviously uh, builds your interest and builds your passion for economics True, I get it. Rahul, what about you? How was your experience uh, at your college the first day? Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Rahul and uh, uh, I have completed my master's this year only from ISI Delhi. So uh, before coming to ISI, actually, uh, I, I was I was I have graduated in 2020 and then post that I wrote the entrance for DSC and ISI and I make it to DSC. So I spent one year at DSC. And uh, while being at DSC, I'm, I completed DSC during the COVID batch itself. And then I gave the, again the exam for ISI. And then I made to, uh, I mean, I cleared ISI at that point. And then I came back to, uh, I'm, I mean, changed, I'm, I changed my college from DSC to ISI. So, uh, I mean, uh, our first semester was, uh, I mean, wholly online. But yeah, coming to ISI was like, uh, I mean, it, it is wholesome feeling. And you know, the first day, the Arunama Saints uh, took the lecture of microeconomics and and everyone know about him, like he's uh, famous throughout the country. So yeah, I mean, that was a very wholesome feeling. And uh, yeah, I mean, at ISI, you teach from such a recognized and such a wholesome professors. I mean, you won't get any uh, professors like that anywhere. So they are world-class faculty. So it's it's very wholesome feeling and I felt very happy being at that place. I get that. So, uh, Rahul, was there any reason in particular why you wanted to shift from DSC to ISI? I mean, uh, so uh, while preparing for the entrance itself, I was I always wanted to go into ISI because uh, ISI is very math heavy. It's it's very very math heavy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was like, I wanted to go into that, but at first I couldn't clear it. But uh, at the second time, all uh, I cleared, and when I went to uh, ISI itself, I was like, okay, I have cleared. I have. I mean, survived one year at DSC and I know plenty of stuff. So ISI would be very easy for me. But when I get into ISI, the picture was totally different. And the math, the level of math at ISI is at, at its peak. I mean, you, you, I mean, also there is a choice of choosing between whether you want to go to, uh, you know, very math oriented courses or like, you know, uh, somewhat theoretical, but that happens in the second year. But from in the first year, the maths and uh, economics and the, I mean the maths is also very abstract basic I mean when you start learning micro economics from Arunas and it's very different from what we what I got taught in DSC because in DSC whatever the first year was it it was more of more or less like whatever that we do during our preparation and trans preparation but in uh, microeconomics at ISI it was it was very abstract it was very abstract so 
yeah i i found it uh, a bit tough in the first year itself it was very hectic as well so yeah and, and the, the reason for being at isi and, and leaving dsc was because in future as well i wanted to make my career in very quant heavy things so i talked to my seniors as well and some of seniors from uh, uh, isi as well ki uh, if i would make a switch whether it will be helpful for me or not so they also explained me ki it might be the case that you got a same upliftment from both colleges but in future you will get benefit from isi just because of the quant domain that they offer so yeah that was my choice uh, for me got it got it okay some day i even i would love to have your notes of microeconomics and see what is being taught in microeconomics um so so i understand that uh, i mean i get the fact that whatever is taught at for the preparation of entrance is what comes in dsc i mean yeah yeah that that is that, that was also i felt because uh, microeconomics that we taught that that i got taught in dsc was very similar to what we prepare for Uh, but in I, ISI, it's very abstract, very abstract. All this sigma algebra and it's very abstract. So yeah. Okay. So so how about you, Prajwal? You come from a similar background of ISI. So how was it being at ISI? Hello. Hi. I think it got disconnected. Sorry. No problem. Ah, uh, yeah. So I graduated from ISI Delhi uh, about two years back, and uh, the first time I went to ISI was for the interview. And uh, during the interview, one of the professors asked me as to you know why do you want to come to ISI? And I was like you know I I am interested in microeconomics, and I heard this is a very good place for that. And he said you know but a lot of people fail in fail in microeconomics. You know Arun was there here. He fails a lot of people, <laughs> and I was speechless. So. But yeah, uh, so the first time I went to I uh, like uh, after I got admission at ISI is uh, so so when I went there I was like you know I felt like some sort of uh, an imposter syndrome like you know do I really belong to this place uh, you know it's a very uh, a lot of great people have come here like you know C R Rao and uh, K R Partha Sarathi they are like renowned statisticians and uh, but you know. the professors the seniors they were they were so warm they were not only you know very knowledgeable and intelligent but they were really warm people they were they made you feel like you know you are you are good you have come here and you know it's it's not so difficult to make it here once you have come here so we are all here we are there to help you and uh, even if you know the ideas were very difficult to understand uh, in some of these classes they would go out of their way to you know explain things to you so even on the very first day you know rahul mentioned about uh, arunava sir's class so so he is like you know uh, coming to the class he, so arunava sir is famous for not looking at his notes at all he just comes to class and starts writing theorems and proofs and all this <laughs> and he doesn't look at his notes at all and uh, everyone is like looking at the board and like what is happening when we don't understand and he is like you know i am teaching you nobel prize winning ideas these are some of the greatest ideas in economics you know you should not uh, be afraid of them you should think deeply about them and he is like very <laughs> uh, very much into this so this is so it was some sort of a uh, transforming experience because it's really nice to see somebody uh, so passionate about what they are teaching and i would say this was the first time i got to see that in my student life that somebody so definitely my professors in undergrad were very good but when i saw this you know there's somebody so passionate about what they are teaching they they really feel that these are the greatest things that have been done in economics and he really feels that these are some of the greatest research papers that have been written and it it's really amazing to see something like that on the uh, on the board and somebody teaching like that so you you also feel inspired so that was something very unique that i saw at isi and it was great yeah. Yeah. so it, um so it seems as if this professor is very famous and one should attend his classes i mean uh, it's uh, there there were quite a few professors Who are visiting professors and they do visit other universities also, but apparently mm. I haven't heard of him or you know uh, he. I mean, this is the first time I'm hearing about him, so it would be good yeah. to see his notes definitely. Okay, definitely. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Kushi, how about you? You know, you have such a vibrant, uh, you know, background of clearing so many exams, IIT, IGIDR, and then DSC. so which college did you choose and why i mean and how was your first day there 
Yeah, well, I'm in BSc right now in my second year, and uh, yeah, it, uh, the feeling of clearing all, uh, most of the exams, not all, I didn't clear ISI, so it was great feeling. Uh, I did my graduation from Hansraj, so every day while commuting to my college, uh, I used to pass two DSC. And uh, it was my dream that I have to enter this college. I have to be there. So for three years, DSC was like my dream place. So I never thought about ISI, IIT, IGID. Uh, I just had my focus on DSC. And uh, I started my preparation with the same only. Then uh, somehow DSC got delayed and uh, our batch started in December. So before that, I was in I IGID. Uh, I spent three months there and the experience there was amazing. I had RPI internship as well with me, but uh, so it was tough for me to make the switch, leaving uh, IGIDR, the facilities and everything there and then switching to DSC. But uh, the brand value which DSC has is I think incomparable to any other institute. I feel this and uh, this was the driving force for me to switch to DSC. And the first day, uh, it was great. Like uh, I had this feeling of fulfillment that I have uh, achieved what I dreamt since past three years. And uh, it was great attending the lectures, meeting new, uh, so many new faces, getting to know each other. Uh, it's a little tough in DSC because you have to make your own place. Uh, in between 300 many uh, other people who come from uh, many diverse backgrounds. You get to know a lot about different aspects of life as well. Many are from engineering background, mathematics, physics. So it is a wholesome experience. And uh, uh, I think uh, I have realized that if you uh, pass DSE, then you get, a way, uh, you get a new way of living life. You know how how to struggle. Uh, you can face any challenge. So I guess yes, DSC has taught me this. Like I am, uh, I don't fear anything now. <laughs> Whatever comes, I'll handle it. True, I get that. That feeling remains mutual. 